Welcome to episode one of Coco versus DWC. This is where we compare growth styles to see which one reigns supreme. It's week two in the garden, and today we're diving into the setup and genetics. This is only my second time growing in DWC, so leave those tips in the comments. I need all the help I can get. Lock in. Let's get right to it. We're running this grow in a 5x5 tent with two premium indoor grow lights. I'm rocking two TS3000s for that full wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Next, it's time to prepare the grow mediums. First up, cocoa. For a brick this size, I typically use six gallons of water and mix in five milliliters of cow mag per gallon. Cocoa is thirsty for calcium and magnesium and we don't want any deficiencies sneaking up on us. I also toss in perlite for aeration and mix in some slow release organic nutrients. This will help avoid deficiencies. When loading the five gallon fabric pots, I also mixed in organic mycorrhizae. It's beneficial bacteria that basically turbocharges root growth. On the DWC side, setup was simple. I'm using a pre-built system with eight buckets basically plug and play. For the medium, I'm using Hydratin. I just disinfect it with bleach and hosed it down. Then it was ready to go. And I don't have an organic solution for DWC, but I'll just stick to using bottled nutrients. I've got a winning combination, and so far, these have never let me down. The strain I'm running is Harawana. It's a heavy indica that grows fast and hits even harder. I know I said this about a lot of strains before, but this one's no joke. It's perfect medication for insomnia, stress, and pain relief. Planting clones in DWC is a lot different than in Coco. The fine root hairs are super delicate, so I took my time and didn't rush it. Now, the real competition begins. Day one officially starts. <laughs> Day four. After a few days, I decided to switch things up. I've always wanted to try bubble ponics, which is basically DWC with drippers. And I had a couple of pre-built DWC buckets with drippers. So I figured, why not experiment a little? And since this is a competition, I also built my own DIY DWC buckets with drippers. Now we've got a real side-by-side -side showdown between store-bought and homemade. Another change, I added humidity domes to the DWC plants because higher humidity accelerates the growth. I mean, I had to do something. At this point, the cocoa plants were running circles around the DWC plants. Day 11. For the cocoa plants, I've been hand watering with a high pressure misting pump. That way, I can dial in how much water it takes to create runoff. In cocoa, you want at least 20% runoff. But just like a pothead, I forgot to put down plant trays first. So when I was done watering, I had a big old mess to clean up. It's okay, we all make stoner mistakes. So once I cleaned it up, I just laid down the plant trays and we were good to go. <laughs> now I don't know about y'all, but I like to check on my plants when they first wake up. At this stage, the growth is rapid and the plants will often make their biggest changes overnight. Mm -hmm. 
On the DWC side, I check pH and PPMs every other day. And I decided that I'll clean the buckets once every 14 days. Day 16, two weeks in and the struggle is real for the bubble ponics. All of them are struggling except for one. And funny enough, the one that's doing well is the one whose drip ring gave me the most problems. It was clogged for a while and that's when the plant was thriving. The plants with working rings aren't doing as well, which tells me something's off. Now, I don't know what kind of backward science is going on, but apparently less is more in this case. Meanwhile, the regular DWC plants are finally taken off, so I went ahead and removed the humidity domes. And as expected, the cocoa plants are still looking amazing. It's been an interesting ride, but we're just getting started and I'll need all the help I can get. So leave those tips in the comments below. And if you're feeling this series, drop a like and subscribe because the next episode is coming up right after this.